good morning. I hope everyone's having a fabulous start to their Tuesday. In Helena, already starting to see some pretty skies this morning. Seeing some sky breaking through the clouds, and that should continue as we move through the morning into the afternoon hours. In Helena right now, it's about 39, getting close to 40. Should be there momentarily. Great Falls, same type of story here. Seeing some sun peeking through the clouds in Great Falls as well. A little bit cooler at 30 degrees. Actually feels like 21, so a little bit of a breeze in Great Falls. Over to the eastern side of the state, we're seeing Jordan at 36. Glasgow's up at 30. Over into Williston, about 29 degrees. A little bit cooler on the eastern side of the state. Winds up in Cutbank, about 14 miles per hour from the west. Haver, 13 miles per hour from the southwest, so pretty moderate there, mild. And across the state, radar-wise, seeing a little bit of shower activity moving down from the north through the eastern portions of the state, right to the west of Glasgow, moving down past Lewistown towards Billings, Miles City there. But over to the Pacific Northwest, seeing some uh, moisture over towards Seattle, moving through Vancouver, Bellingham down towards the Seattle area, through making its way down to Yakima shortly. But as we take a live look across the country, we're seeing a lot of convective patterns down towards the southeast. It's really become the story over the past 24 hours. Saw some tornado warnings and some severe thunderstorm warnings last night. A lot of people were kept up uh, through the overnight hours as it's quite dangerous when we have tornadoes through the overnight hours. But as we move along throughout the day, we're seeing a lot of weather alerts across the country, even some snow through areas in the central portions of the United States there. And I wanted to touch on this momentarily. I, I noticed this last night when I was watching <clears throat> a live stream of the tornado that was rolling through College Station, Texas. A lot of people don't even have, a, have an idea when some of these things are moving through their area. I saw people driving straight into a into a, just a moving tornado that was clearly visible, just driving right down the street towards it. And this is applicable to Montana as well because these type of maps from the Storm Prediction Center can be issued for any portion of the country, not just for tornadoes, but maybe it's fire danger or wind or wind blown snow or wind advancing the fire conditions. And they usually use these colors or something similar indicating uh, by percentage how severe the threat is, of course. This area in the brighter pink shade indicating a 45% chance for the southeast today of uh, long tracked or dangerous tornadoes or extreme severe conditions. But it's just always important to be prepared as we are moving into severe weather season here in Montana as well. But as for today, we're seeing a lot of sunshine throughout the state, even over into Glasgow and Jordan. Pretty much clear skies there getting up into the 50s, mid 50s. Helena and Great Falls are going to get closer to 60. A pretty day today as we move into tomorrow, a high pressure system going to settle over the southern portion of the state, allowing temperatures to raise once again. Great Falls and Helena going to get closer to 70 tomorrow, even over into the eastern portion of the state. We actually are going to see clear skies, Glasgow, Jordan, Glendive, Miles City, even all the way down to the Baker community and into Billings. And we do have a short wave trough pushing a cold front through the state on into Thursday. And here it is, cold front's going to make its way through the state, fairly weak cold front. Uh, going to cool off temperatures just a bit, chance for snow and rain mixing. Friday, temperatures warm back up, but cloud cover remains, so not too warm. So we move into your seven-day forecast. We're going to see sun into your weekend, a chance for rain on Saturday. We'll keep you tuned on that. The models are a little bit in disagreement on Saturday and Monday, but it's uh, a little bit in a disagreement on Sunday as well, as you can see, uh, for Great Falls as well. But nevertheless, beautiful week into a beautiful weekend. I like the looks of that. Thanks uh, a lot for that, Trey.